Expirel Bupivacaine Liposome Injectable Suspension Utilizes Depofoam Drug Delivery Technology Depofoam technology comprises microscopic lipid-based particles containing active pharmacologic agents. Depofoam extends the duration of action of the encapsulated medication through a process of gradual release. Multivesicular liposomes are manufactured using a double emulsion process. In the first emulsification step, aqueous droplets containing bupivacaine are surrounded by lipid monolayer. In the second emulsification step, the bupivacaine containing liposomes are encapsulated within a second lipid monolayer, thus forming multi-chambered particles called multivesicular liposomes. Each individual particle, as well as each of the thousands of chambers within each particle, are surrounded by lipid bilayers. There are several liposome forms that can occur synthetically or in nature. Unilamellar liposomes, which are composed of a single lipid bilayer surrounding an aqueous chamber, or multilamellar liposomes, which are composed of concentric bilayers. Multivesicular liposomes are composed of non-concentric lipid bilayers. The polyhedral close packing of internal vesicles is analogous to the packing of bubbles. The major constituents of the lipid bilayers are phospholipids and cholesterol. A neutral lipid, tricaprolin, stabilizes the bilayers at membrane junctions. The bilayers then form multiple aqueous chambers that encapsulate bupivacaine. The chambers vary in shape and size, similar to the seed arrangement inside of a pomegranate. Depot foam particles generally range from approximately 10 to 60 microns in diameter, with a median diameter of 24 to 31 microns. The multivesicular liposomes in Expirel are suspended in saline, which contains a small amount of free bupivacaine. After infiltration into the surgical site, the saline and free bupivacaine are absorbed, leaving the multivesicular liposomes to gradually release the encapsulated bupivacaine to achieve longer lasting analgesia. Indication. Expirel, bupivacaine liposome injectable suspension, is indicated for single-dose infiltration in adults to produce post-surgical local analgesia and as an intrascaline brachial plexus nerve block to produce post-surgical regional analgesia. Safety and efficacy have not been established in other nerve blocks. Important safety information. Expirel is contraindicated in obstetrical paracervical block anesthesia. Adverse reactions reported with an incidence greater than or equal to 10% following Expirel administration via infiltration were nausea, constipation, and vomiting. Adverse reactions reported with an incidence greater than or equal to 10% following Expirel administration via intrascaline brachial plexus nerve block were nausea, pyrexia, and constipation. If Expirel and other non-bupivacaine local anesthetics, including lidocaine, are administered at the same site, there may be an immediate release of bupivacaine from Expirel. Therefore, Expirel may be administered to the same site 20 minutes after injecting lidocaine. Expirel is not recommended to be used in the following patient population, patients less than 18 years old and or pregnant patients. Because amide-type local anesthetics, such as bupivacaine, are metabolized by the liver, Expirel should be used cautiously in patients with hepatic disease. Warnings and precautions specific to Expirel. Avoid additional use of local anesthetics within 96 hours following administration of Expirel. Expirel is not recommended for the following types or routes of administration. Epidural, intrathecal, regional nerve blocks other than intrascaling brachial plexus nerve block, or intravascular or intraarticular use. The potential sensory and or motor loss with Expirel is temporary and varies in degree and duration depending on the site of injection and dosage administered and may last for up to five days as seen in clinical trials.
Warnings and precautions for bupivacaine-containing products. Central nervous system reactions. There have been reports of adverse neurologic reactions with the use of local anesthetics. These include persistent anesthesia and paresthesia. CNS reactions are characterized by excitation and or depression. Cardiovascular system reactions. Toxic blood concentrations depress cardiac conductivity and excitability, which may lead to dysrhythmias, sometimes leading to death. Allergic reactions. Allergic-type reactions, such as anaphylaxis and angioedema, are rare and may occur as a result of hypersensitivity to the local anesthetic or to other formulation ingredients. Chondrolysis. There have been reports of chondrolysis, mostly in the shoulder joint, following intraarticular infusion of local anesthetics, which is an unapproved use. Metemoglobinemia. Cases of metemoglobinemia have been reported with local anesthetic use. Full prescribing information is available at www.exparel.com.